a remarkable archive of more than 4,000 candid photographs of the royal family taken over four decades and away from the public gaze has gone up for auction. The fascinating images were taken by royal photographer John Scott who was given unprecedented access to the royals from the 1950s to the 1980s. Among the incredible unseen slides and relaxed photos are images of Prince Charles meeting the cast of the US TV show MASH and the Queen in a relaxed group with Lord Louis Mountbatten at a horse show. Through the incredible archive it is possible to watch the royal family grow up from childhood to maturity through the 1960s, 70s, and 80s. One fascinating image shows a young Prince Andrew, aged about 12, stood opposite his future wife Sarah Ferguson, while his little brother Prince Edward joyfully plays with the Queen's niece Sarah Armstrong Jones, now Lady Sarah Chado. stood in the same picture are the Queen and Sarah's older sister Jane Ferguson. Another photo shows a bearded Prince Charles, aged in his 20s, on horseback looking strikingly similar to his son Prince Harry. There are also dozens of informal snaps of Princess and Princess Margaret and Prince Philip. Scott lived an extraordinary life himself as he was a Yugoslavian aristocrat who fled his native Serbia during the Second World War after it was occupied by the Nazis. His actual name was Colonel Vasovojnovic and he commanded a platoon on the Russian front age just 17 during the First World War. He arrived in London via Paris on a train reserved for German generals, smuggling important intelligence reports in 1941 and became the private secretary of King Peter of Yugoslavia, who was also living in exile in a suite at the luxury hotel Claridge's. He spent several years serving King Peter before setting himself up as a photographer. Voinovich took his small Leica camera everywhere he went, and often his hosts at weekend country house parties would invite him to take pictures. Before long, the young Princess Elizabeth saw some of these pictures of her friends as he was a friend of Sir Jock Colville, her private secretary. Through Colville, Elizabeth requested Voinovich photograph her in uniform during one of her first Trooping the Color ceremonies. The success of this photograph launched his photographic career and he changed his name to John Scott to help him get work. The Queen, then a young Princess Elizabeth, is captured in a candid pose at Balmoral in Scotland in the early 1950s. The incredible archive was passed by Scott to his assistant Judy Appleby. He persuaded her to pose for him, and that started a 30 year partnership with Judy helping Scott in front of and behind the camera. Judy retired to Cornwall with her husband, and when Scott died in 1986, he left his photographic collection to her. Now aged in her 80s, she has decided to consign the archive for sale with the Penzance auctioneer David Lay, and it is tipped to sell for £10,000 candid snap of Andrew and Edward from the 1970s. Auctioneer David Lay, who is selling the archive, said, During my many years as an auctioneer we have handled quite a few photographic collections, but this is undoubtedly one of the most remarkable archives I have ever seen. In the UK and indeed many other parts of the world, the fascination with the British royals is unwavering and here we have an archive that documents four decades of there lives a smiling queen at Balmoral in the early 1950s. Auctioneer Mr. Leia added, the breadth and quality of the images is superb so really it is unparalleled in my experience. 
Looking through all the images in this archive, covering almost 40 years, it is possible to see the royal family grow up before one's eyes Everything is here, from childhood to maturity, diplomatic royal engagements with all their pomp and ceremony to unguarded family moments between the Queen and her children It is an astonishing collection of images of very young Catherine Worsley, the Duchess of Kent The Duchess, now 85, met Prince Edward, Duke of Kent, the eldest son of Prince George, Duke of Kent, and Princess Marina of Greece in Denmark, while he was based at Catterick Camp On June 8, 1961, the couple married at York Minster and Princess Anne was one of the bridesmaids Guests included actors Noel Coward and Douglas Fairbanks Jr. As well as members of the British, Greek, Danish, Norwegian, Yugoslavian, Romanian, and Spanish royal families The Duchess later gained attention for her conversion to Catholicism in 1994, the first member of the royal family to convert publicly since the passing of the Act of Settlement 1701, 